Cool. Let's go to David, yeah? Oh, David. I love this one, bro. Yes, sir. Uh, let my me rock this one. Oh, man. This is your favorite? Mm, same here, favorite. man. Same here, bro. <laughs> Fuck, this one's amazing, man. You know this one, so... Yo. This is my woman's favorite one. She loves this, man. Jeez, what is this song about, bro? That that one is, is like the... The main story of that song is about like trying to overcome like anything that you're going through. You know what I'm saying? I was going through the whole situation of leaving, of having to see my friend leave because of, you know, stuff I couldn't like control. Oh, you know Leo. I mean? Yeah, Leo had to bounce because like I couldn't. It was like a situation where people can't accommodate like both of us. You know what oh, I mean? Shit. Knowing that we don't really have like a plan. You know what I mean? So is it not? I mean, you're making money. Yeah, he's in Durban. He's doing his own thing also. He does shows and whatever day in Durban. Oh, but so we what wanted, you tell we him to pull up? at the same time. I have to. I'm not. I'm not there yet. I don't think I'm at the point where I can bring like people under my wing. I'm not. Oh, okay. Not in Durban, like you. It's not like you know. It's off my. You know, I'm and whatever. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. trying to get to a point where it's like I have the platform and like I'm and good thing. Gimbui say, and you know, sends it what we wanted to do from the start. Oh, okay. Yeah, so basically that's what that song is about. David is he the one who who does the ad lib in the middle of the song? Uh, the the, the voice note. Yeah, yeah the voice yeah, note. Yeah, that's oh, that's him. Yeah. Oh yeah, shit. Yeah. I was telling him about like the whole. Yeah, something happened here in Midran, and then he, and then I was like, yo, like this shit just happened, uh, cause I I call him like a lot. Uh, when when like I'm going through something out here in Jersey and it's like yo like, this thing just happened and he's like nah don't worry bro what thing happened in Madrid nah it was just load shit just some no <laughs> 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 this nigga's making something deep what happened in Madrid <laughs> nah it's just some industry stuff like, industry up? stuff yeah. hey what is your one yeah that's my one okay cool yeah that's yours yeah so then I told him good see yeah something something weird happened and like I'm uh, I'm not like, what what can't you talk anymore. about we, we, we. nah it's just it's not nah maybe so, I'll tell you after oh is it something that made you want to stop the, the the whole game completely and just nah just something that made me feel weird mm. yeah and I didn't I didn't really like it uh, so he was what, like what Ricky Rick called you huh <laughs> 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 yeah, so he was like, nah, bro, relax, dog. Everything is cool. Just mm -hmm. keep on doing what you're doing and mm -hmm. everything's going to be okay. And you guys, Sometimes you need to hear that from someone like that. Yeah, yeah, bro. And you guys are still tight? Yeah, yeah, we're cool. Yeah. What All does he us. think about your newfound success? Yeah, he's happy about it, dog. Like, before I came here, like, we used to have, like, a lot of conversations about different things that have to happen like during your come up different yeah. milestones that you have to hit and like every time I hit them he's like yo dog you just did that shit yeah. you just hit a million on SoundCloud you just did shit, this man. much on YouTube so like yeah so that's yeah it's cool like we, we we talk all the time do you think if he had stayed in Joburg like things would have been different if he had stayed yeah you know when they couldn't accommodate him you mean if they could yeah yeah it would have been it would have been crazier I mean I don't know the more the merrier for me like I've, I'm I'm cool with working with people. Like I always felt like having like a team. Yes. Yeah. Like a, a big team is like is like the best thing. Yeah. Cuz you you all just support each other. It's easier to make songs, you know what I'm saying? You're always with people that 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 you that you're comfortable with being around mm. instead of just being alone, you know what I mean? So, I think it would have been better. Yeah. Yeah. Who did the beat on David? Uh Wave Ambience. Fuck. That's one of the one of the guys in the emails. Bro, when you hear that beat, bro, like, how the hell do you come up with those lyrics? Yeah, yo. How did I come up with David, dog? I was just, I was just bumping it. I bumped the beat, I don't know, maybe like twice. And then I've always wanted to incorporate like this whole choir vibe of having like melodies and stuff going on at the beat, even though like it's it's cracking, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, it's a, like it's a hard beat. So I always wanted to have like that soft element within it. So yeah, if if you listen to the song, there's like a lot of cuts and stuff that I that I did so that like you know, the, the choir vibe gets highlighted throughout the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's how I came up with it. Fuck. <laughs>